Hey guys and welcome back. I am Sam Crack. I just dropped off the seat to the Audi S3 to have it stitched back up along with a fresh airbag. And I'm also taking some of the paperwork to the salvage vehicle inspector today to get that all sorted. And it made me think, you know, a lot of people may be watching these videos or just in general thinking about purchasing a salvage title vehicle or maybe bidding on one at auction say, hey, you know, this could be fun, or hey, maybe I could get a really good deal on a car. And that's definitely the case. I'll do a video in the future of all the good reasons I'm buying a salvage car. However, what I wanted to do is just give you a quick warning, and that is to study up a little bit before buying one of these salvage cars. Maybe watch a few of my videos, maybe watch a few other YouTube videos, but really what you should do is look up your state laws because every state is different. Even though a lot of them practice very similar things. Every state has different policies and different situations. But what this video is mainly about is just knowing what you're bidding on. And that's not even as going as far as saying what's wrong with this car or what sort of problems am I going to have to fix. It's more or less what problems could I have getting this car registered. The first thing you should be looking at when you're bidding on a car, whether at Copart or any other auction, is the title status. If it says it's a salvage title, well, it's a salvage title. That's what you're likely looking for. But if it says anything other than salvage, you need to take a closer look. Now, right here I've got the title for my Jetta GLI, and this one is interesting because uh, it says it right here, salvage certificate. I don't know if you can see that. When I bid on this car online, it actually said New York certificate MV907, I think. I'll correct it right here if I'm wrong. But it had a few numbers and said MV, like motor vehicles. And that's New York's code for a salvage title. In the state of Florida, it just says state of Florida salvage title. But in other states, they have codes and things that go along with it. The one other thing you need to know though is some of these codes stand for what we've talked about before, certificate of destruction or parts only vehicles or junk vehicles. These are all vehicles which you likely will have a hell of a time getting registered if you think it's just a salvage. If you go in, give them the paperwork, you did the rebuild process on and everything's good to go, but it's a certificate of destruction, they're gonna look at you and say, hey, you can't register this vehicle. The other thing to look out for is once in a while you'll see where it says that there's a lien left on the title. Now if there is a lien left on it, there's a possibility that someone still owes money on it. And if you take possession of that title, you might be that new person owing money. That starts to get in uh, several gray areas, so I can't really expand on it because every situation is totally different. Sometimes it's very minor fees, DMV fees. Sometimes you're owing taxes that nobody paid and they abandon the vehicle. But really, I know I'm repeating myself when I say this, please look at the title status and make sure you're buying something that you'll be able to either rebuild or register. Sometimes you could be bidding on a vehicle with a clear title and then you're good to go. You just go and, and take care of it like it were a clear title vehicle. Even if it's got damage that you're gonna repair on it. But always look at the title status. I cannot stress it enough and I'll continue to repeat it. Always look at the title status. If you see numbers, do a Google search. If the Google search isn't clear, which a lot of times it isn't, go and call the state's DMV that the car came from. It will always have a state associated with it. So I live in Florida, but the Jetta came from New York and the Audi came from Texas. So the state that holds that title now is the state you need to find out the laws for. And then you can follow up with your own state on how to get the car registered. Most states have a system that talk with each other and so they know, okay, I'm taking a Texas car into Florida. And like I said, here in Florida, we have a salvage vehicle inspection process. So regardless of where it came from, my state is checking out the car to make sure it's row worthy and safe before I actually drive it here on the Florida roads and anywhere else really. When I bought my Fiesta ST, I've said it before, I literally knew nothing and that was a mistake. I was lucky because it was from the insurance company and it was a salvage title. I was able to rebuild that car and take it in for an inspection and I can drive it now on the roads. I've seen cars from the insurance company and in good condition that have a certificate of destruction. In other states, they'll call it a junk title. Sometimes they'll call it a parts only title. Whatever it's called, if your intention 
is to rebuild the car. I recommend staying away from them. There are other technicalities. I've heard of people trying to use to make it as a homemade built car and things of that sort. I don't like dealing with title issues personally. They can be the biggest headache of them all. You could have a huge mechanical problem, but a title problem will always haunt you. So if you have any questions about anything I've said in this video, please be sure to comment below. When you're looking at cars, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Make sure you look at the title section first. Then go do your research on everything else. Make sure you understand the title you are getting on this car so that when you get it, you rebuild it, you take it in, you're able to walk away with a rebuilt title, drive the car on the road, and have a very successful project. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you learned something. Hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys very soon.